Hello, welcome to Michelle Sews Again. I'm Michelle. I am going to be sharing with you a little bit about life, a little bit about what I've been sewing, a little bit about what I have coming up, and let's just jump into it. So, yes, I recognize I have been absent for, I think, about four months now. I honestly just needed a break. Um, I had a lot going on personally with travel and just just other stuff and everything's fine so I don't want anybody to worry about me I want to say thank you so much to all of you that reached out to me in email in Instagram in uh, comments on my YouTube channel you guys are just the best and you're the reason that I decided to come back so um, and I have a few things to share with you so I'm hoping that You'll be excited about what I've been working on and excited about what I have coming up. So, all right, what have I been working on? So I, as I've mentioned at the beginning of the year in my first several videos, I kind of have not been feeling super eager to sew for myself. Um, I didn't, at that point in time, I hadn't lost my sojo. I just didn't want to sew for me. Um, but then it kind of turned into I lost my sojo. So I haven't sewn a ton over the past four months. In fact, a couple of things I'm going to share with you, I'm pretty sure I shared with you before I disappeared. Um, but I've kind of had um, a change of heart on how I feel about them. So I want to share that with you. Um, but let's just get started at the beginning. So I started working on some quilt stuff. That's new for me. I hadn't really ventured into the quilt world. It seemed a little overwhelming to me just because of the precision that you need and all of that. And that's not my forte because I haven't made it my forte because I'm not really interested in stuff that needs to be perfect. I prefer to, it's too stressful to me. So, and plus just aesthetically, I think you guys know I'm much more of a kind of eclectic, mishmash kind of a girl. <laughs> so um, I'm not a traditional, I don't like traditional patterns and things like that. So I did, um, I am following Izzy from Dizzy Quilts and Sews. I'm following her quilt as you go quilt along and she puts out a new block pattern every three weeks, I think. I'm woefully behind, but I did get started on it and I wanna share. And I want to share with you what I've gotten done. So these are these are not necessarily in the order that um, her quilt along is, um, but yeah, let's just go, let's just go with it. So if you're not following Izzy's quilt along and you're remotely interested in quilting, I suggest that you follow because it is completely. She takes the overwhelm out of the equation. And I love the fact that you're actually quilting each block as you go. And I'm looking forward to seeing how it all comes together at the end. Um, so I'm using a, I'm using a, not a jelly roll. I'm using a fat quarter pack from, I'm using a fat quarter pack from K Facet. My background fabric is a thrifted linen tablecloth that I bought last year when I was out thrifting with Jen from Today and Jen's Sewing Room. Um, and this is one of my blocks. And you see, I'm not very good with the um, <laughs> with the freehand quilting, but that's okay. This is my second block. I don't remember what these patterns are called. They, these are very traditional blocks, but I think because I've done them in such fun colors and the fact that each block is gonna be quilted differently, I think that'll kind of make it more desirable for me once it's all put together. So yeah, that's that one. Here's another one. And this one is the last one that I worked on and I have not quilted it yet, but it's all pieced together. So all I have left to do is quilt this one and then I can get caught up on the other blocks. The other quilt of the month or other quilting project that I'm working on is a quilt of, is a block of the month um, program with Quilt Folk Magazine. And I, again, am woefully behind. The first project was just a fun kind of, not part of any quilt. Um, and it was to make a 
to make a sunbonnet sue and put her in a block or do whatever you wanted with her. So this is mine. And it was, and you were supposed to personalize it. So this is mine. I made her out of several, some of my tie dye scraps. And then I put a fleur de lis out of another tie dye scrap because I grew up in Louisiana and then just put it all on this fun, um, teal and uh, mint background, which I think that kind of tells my story, I think. And then the next block was um, the thing I love about this quilt of block of the month program is that they're uh, urging you, encouraging you to think outside of the box and to break the rules. So nothing in it is traditional. Um, and so this is my first block and I forget what they called it. Broken something. I'm not sure, but um, I really like the way that that came out and I'm super happy with it. So that's my quilting stuff. The next thing that I wanna share with you is this Cielo top. So I made this and I made it extra long and I made it out of this gorgeous tea towel, Turkish tea towel that I got from Jen. I believe she had thrifted it and she wasn't gonna use it. So she gifted it to me. And again, I still had, I had plenty of that um, thrifted linen tablecloth left over. And I mean, look how perfectly it matches with that. So my intention was to make a matching set. I was going to make this with pants out of this. And um, so that's why I did the sleeves like this instead of the sleeves out of this unless I didn't have enough of this. That could be the case as well. Um, I ended up not wanting to make the pants to go with this because I felt like it was too granimal. <laughs> like, um, but, and when I first tried this on, I didn't love the way that it looked on me. But actually, I've actually worn this a couple of times. I wore it once with some white jeans. Super cute. I love the tassels on the bottom. And I love the Cielo top. I've got a few of them. And this one fits just like all the other ones. So I'm not quite sure what my beef was in the beginning. Other than maybe I was just in a bad mood and nothing. <laughs> I didn't like anything. Um, but I do like this now and I've worn it several times. The next one that I wanted to share is this. Is this a Leah top that I made out of this really fun um, insect fabric. I'm pretty sure I got this from Minerva. Um, and the shirt was easy to make. I enjoyed making it. I didn't love the way that it looked on me and I have not tried it on again. So I'm gonna do that. The last time I'm fairly certain I didn't share pictures of me wearing any of these. So I'm gonna try it on. Um, I'll put a picture in. And if you could give me feedback on what you think about it in the comments, I would appreciate that. I also fixed the fit of this wide strap maxi that I made, I'm pretty sure I made it three years ago. I'm pretty sure I made it when I still lived in Miami. And the fit was just like super loose in the back. The straps were falling off. So I took the straps out of the back. I um, moved them in and I'm pretty sure I shortened them. Um, and now it fits. Now, whether or not I like it is a different story. I'm not sure I love it on me, um, but it is gonna, it could be something that would be good to wear. I'm going on a cruise at the end of the month. I'll tell you more about that in the life section, um, but it could be a really great cruise outfit. I'm gonna try it on, put a picture, give me your feedback. And then the last thing that I've made is another Nova Midi. So this is the first one that I've ever made out of a rayon. And I have to say, I love it. Um, for those of you that don't know, I've made like four or five of these. All of them have been out of quilting cotton or even I have one that's even something much stiffer than that. I'm not sure what the fabric type is. I wear them all. I love my Nova Midis. They're perfect for the Southwest Florida heat. Um, but this is the first one I've made out of rayon, and I love how swishy it is, how lightweight it is. I remember to put pockets in this one. I only have pockets in one of my other ones because I kept forgetting. I know I can go back and add them, but, you know, that's work. Um, anyway, so I was torn between just leaving this at two tiers, like I have all my others, 
or adding a third tier. I do have enough fabric, but I sent a picture of the finished without hemming it to my sew sisters and unanimously <laughs> they said to leave it at two. So I took their advice and I left it at two and um, I really love it. So again, give me your feedback in the comments. I have uh, been ice dyeing this weekend. So I have another kind of tank style linen maxi dress that I actually bought on Amazon. Um, I am in this mode where I'm willing to buy ready to wear. I hadn't bought ready to wear since I started sewing. And the, when I lost my sojo, I didn't feel like sewing for me. I was going on a business trip. I needed some clothes. I kind of got back in the habit of buying some ready to wear. And there's some things that I'm okay doing that with, especially for stuff that I want to ice dye because it's just easier. So I bought this tank style linen maxi dress um, from Amazon. It wasn't very expensive and I've ice dyed it. It's in the washing machine right now. So I'll be sure to um, add a picture um, before as I'm editing so that you can see how it came out. I'm kind of excited about that. I can't wait to see how it looks when it's all dried and ironed. And then the last thing I've been working on, and honestly, it's been four months, so more than likely I'm forgetting something, <laughs> but these are the things I remember. So um, as I mentioned, we're going on a cruise at the end of the month and we're going with my husband's entire family of cousins. So there's gonna be like 30 of us. And I offered <laughs> to make t-shirts for everybody. Um, Luckily, we pared it down before I got started because once I got started and realized how long the weeding was going to take me for one iron-on transfer, I was like, whew, if I had to do something on, we had talked about doing names on the back as well as this image on the front, I would still be weeding. <laughs> so I got started several weeks ahead of time just to make sure I had enough time to do like a little bit at a time. And, and here's a sample. Here's one of the t-shirts. So it says, cruising with my cousins, 2024, and then it lists all the places that we're going. And um, we decided to do white t-shirts um, and all of the iron-on are in this ombre, colorful ombre. Yeah, I'm excited. I think these turned out cute. I'm not, I'm finished weeding all of the transfers, but I'm not finished ironing them on the t-shirts. So my husband and I are going to work on that probably a little bit every night this week. Um, until we get it done. So that's basically everything that I've been working on. What do I have coming up next? So I'm thinking for my cruise, I really only want to take maybe dresses and swimsuits and swim cover-ups and sandals. Um, so that's why I decided to make this Nova Midi. And I'm thinking that I want one more dress. Um, and I'm thinking of at least one more. I'm thinking I want to make the Charlie Caftan, um, if you've been following me, you know that my absolute favorite dress that I've ever made is this Charlie Caftan that I made out of a an ice dyed shower curtain that I used as a shower curtain when we lived in Fort Myers. And then when we moved here, I didn't need the shower curtain anymore because we've got walk-in showers. And um, so I decided, and I loved the ice dye so much that I decided to cut it up and make it into a Charlie Caftan. And it is my absolute favorite dress. I love the way that it fits. I love the way that it looks on me. And so I would like to make another one in a rayon like I did with this and see how I like that. Um, so we'll see if that happens. And if I don't make that, I'm contemplating a coordinated short set with maybe the Donnie shirt and my favorite pants are the Sinclair poppy pants and I could just make those into shorts. I've got the pattern to fit me, although I've fluctuated in weight so much over the last couple of years. I've gone up and down and up and down. Um, I am on the downtrend, <laughs> thankfully. Um, so I might have to refit those. So I don't know. We'll see about that. Um, and then obviously more quilting. So I want to get caught up on Izzy's block of the month or quilt along. And I want to get caught up on my block of the month. <clears throat> so that's pretty much it for what's coming up next. And then life. So 
as I mentioned, um, we're going on a cruise at the end of the month. We're leaving out of Tampa. We're um, sailing on the Royal Caribbean Enchantment of the Seas. And we're going to Cozumel, Roatan, Honduras, Belize, and Costa Maya. And I'm really looking forward to it. I've never been on a cruise before. I've been binge watching cruise uh, YouTube videos to see what kind of things I need to take and what I need to pack, what I need to know about all the stuff on the, on the ship. I am only doing one excursion, so I'm really only going to see Cozumel. Um, we're going on an all-day entire family beach excursion. Um, the rest of the week, all the families are kind of doing their own thing with the excursions. I've been having major trouble with my left knee over the last several weeks, and so I'm not doing any of the excursions because my family wants to do pretty active excursions, and I don't want to slow them down, and I don't want to be in pain, and I'm perfectly happy <laughs> relaxing by the pool and reading a book, and um, I've actually booked a spa appointment, so I'm going to be doing stuff on the boat, and um, so I'm a little sad about not seeing any of the ports, um, and I'm not comfortable going into the port um, area, like right off the boat with the shopping and stuff, all by myself. So I'm just going to stay on the boat. Um, and I'm okay with that. I am a big fan of chilling and relaxing. Um, so that's going to be my week um, on the cruise. Otherwise, in life, I've been spending a lot of time in the pool and swimming to get some exercise since I really can't do my exercise bike right now um, with the knee that's been so painful. Um, and so swimming is pretty much all I can do. So I've been trying to get in at least over the weekend. I'm getting in like 30 minutes a day swimming and then I stay in and relax. Um, but during the week, I'm trying at the end of the day, if it's not storming here, because <laughs> we've we're in the rainy season and it's been, you know, we've had thunderstorms every afternoon for a couple of weeks now. Um, I also bought a new bicycle and I rode it once after I bought it and then my knee started bothering me. So I haven't been on it again, but I'm kind of excited about that. Um, when they say it's just like riding a bike, once you get up and going, it's fine. For me, it was the getting up and going. <laughs> I was like, how did this used to be so easy? Getting up and going and stopping, I struggled with a little bit. I have to admit, I fell, I scraped my knee. It's okay. I'll figure it out, but yeah, that's not as um, easy as it's just like riding a bike <laughs> would make you think. Hi, it's Editing Michelle here. I can't believe I forgot to say that Jen and I are hosting a social on Saturday, July 13th at the Shannon Staub Library in Northport, Florida from 1 to 3. If you're in the area and you just want to come visit for a little while, bring a machine, bring some hand sewing, bring another project, and let's just meet and chit chat. Um, we got a, a meeting room, so uh, we'll be bringing a little bit of snacks, and we're looking forward to seeing you. So I hope you can make it. Let me know in the comments if you're going to be able to come. Thanks. Anyway, that's about all I have to share today. I hope that Everything is going great with you, and I look forward to sharing more content with you soon. So I'll talk to you next time. Bye!